Hey, what is up everybody, Blaze for here, and today for you guys in the video of freaking Persona 5X here. Inside today's video, guys, as you guys can see by the title, we are going to be doing the A0 Fox with also just a four-star weapon, no dupes here. Pretty much the free to play as you can be, then see how exactly he turns out. Now, I don't have really the best of set on this man here, nor am I done with at least getting up uh, his main uh, personas. Like one of the few that you do want to have is Norn when you are using the uh, Fox himself, but um, I don't have his main personas on him just yet, nor do I have uh, his actual stats fully upgraded when it comes down to his talents. They're all currently seven. I think they can go to eight currently um, once I get more, but um, this is pretty much the best I can do. Now his weapon currently is 60 as well as um, when it comes down to his current set. We have something that looks somewhat like this, which are not perfect, of course. Like this is okay. It could be easily actually no, this isn't even okay. This is like mediocre at best. Because you don't really want to have defense on this man. You don't, I mean, you don't want to have a speed and attack on him. That's actually better stats, in which of course I will make a build guide for him coming up very, very soon. Um, and then of course, we only have a three-star one of these, no defense on it, of course. Uh damage bonus. This one's pretty okay eight ish besides the hp and then this is bad same as just the saturn one here is kind of iffy as well so we are running pretty much just the most free to play as we can not perfect build whatsoever and then for his team we haven't really fully built them either like we do have a puppet here um, who does not have anything she should have technically as well as uh our mods and yuki are still level 50 still building these guys so uh yeah we have a lot to work on when it does come down to this whole thing or this whole team here for him, but we're going to be going ahead and giving it a shot. So if you guys are interested in the video, be sure to sit back, relax and enjoy it here. Um, I think one of the few things before we get started that I immediately want to do is actually change up my Yuki real quick so we can have a little bit of a more fair, I guess, somewhat of a more fair type of a uh, thing here. So this can do because she just needs just defense percentage really uh when it comes down to her actual main stats we want to have defense on her so then you can actually have your uh what's it called have your yusuke getting the best shields he can possibly get in order to actually like i guess you could multiply a little bit more of his actual uh stats here now, i don't know if i have any better oh i don't Oof, that's gonna be a little bit of a rough patch there but I don't think I have any other ones that actually go for her. So yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. We'll just use this currently because it does have attack percentage on, or at least defense percentage on it. And then we'll try and use whatever we can that we can find here. Uh, but pretty much what Yusuke here, you want to just stack the man up with defense. You want to make sure that whoever he's being ran with has a ton of defense and they're able to give him shields. The stronger or at least the tankier he becomes, the more DPS he'll do. So it's kind of one of the reasons why I am just like flipping back and forth through this. We're just going to go ahead and get the set effect because I think that's probably the best we can really do here. So uh, whatever it is, it is what it is. So let's just go ahead and use this here. And then for the other main set of Yuki, we need that to be speed. So if it's not speed, then uh, I mean, we can just deal with whatever. We don't really got to go too, too crazy with this because we do know that we don't have the stats for this to begin with. So. All right, boom, that's enough things said with this here. So we're just gonna use the bare minimum, pretty much easy with this. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into showing Yusuke. Now Yusuke himself has a lot in his kit, right? He has a lot that can honestly be a little destructive to the enemy at hand, in which uh, you guys are probably gonna see a decent bit of. So let's go ahead and use this here and boom. So let's go ahead and get into like a match for a second or at least uh, something PVE related. And I want to test this out on, I don't know, let's just go ahead and test it out on one of his little things here. Something that he has a weakness on. So we're going to go into level 60. All these guys are level 66 here uh, and they're weak to bless and ice. So currently, this is one of the teams you want to run. I personally like to, like, just in case if you do have his weapon or something like this, um, he's going to do way more than enough damage alone. Um, in my opinion, so I really wouldn't use Mont too much. But if you want to go ahead and actually just like be spamming your all out attacks, this would be the optimal team you want to go ahead and run with Puppet in the background. So let's go ahead and give this a shot here. Now, 
I barely or at least fully do believe this character is absolutely worth it, right? I definitely do think this character is thinking worth it. If anything, it's going to be crazy good to actually go ahead and actually, uh, you know, do our testing with you guys. So earlier when I was playing, he was hitting 9K on his counters, which is absolutely nice here. But what I want to at least show you guys were the follow ups. So, of course, let's just do it doesn't really matter what we do, because either way, um, we're going to we're going to get this set up the correct way. So, like, for example, right, this is kind of one of the reasons you want to use Mott with him, because, of course, you get everyone knocked down. Right. You guys are going to do one all out attack off rip be perfectly fine here. And this is really going to come in handy if you're doing the velvet room. So one of the few things you want to go ahead and do is use his silver heart because his silver heart allows him to use his ice counter here and which will be absolutely amazing. So we got, of course, our little shields here. We're going to give him some more shield immediately. And this is one of the other reasons that you want to run Norn on him because Norn really does help him out, especially when it comes down to at least the uh, shield amount that he's able to have. So we don't fully have it built just yet, but we will go ahead and use Norn here. And then this is what ends up happening, right? They hit him. Homie's going to be like, nah, instead, let me knock him down again. Uh, and then at this point, you can just follow up and get another all out attack, right? This is how Yusuke is going to be most likely optimally ran. And it's going to be absolutely insane to see what he's actually able to do. Now, of course, since we just used our ice counter, I don't think we actually can use it again in the same time here. We actually have to restatus it up if I'm right. But I may be wrong by that have to do more testing with him of course here but now he's able to counter anything right he can just go ahead and counter for the time being but what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and use this here get a little bit of a knockdown on one and then we're gonna go ahead and follow up get another knockdown most likely boom and then another all-out attack this man legitimately is the all-out attack king and I'm not gonna lie to you if you just continuously stack defense on him and just continuously just make him as busted as possible he's going to actually just be a monster when it comes down to this now we should do our regular counter not our ice counter here from right oh wow we didn't even proc it so that's actually crazy uh actually kind of surprised by that but once again let's just go ahead you know what let's use the uh all out at least the highlight to show you guys exactly uh how this looks as well but he does so much damage for no reason, right? Low investment, as you guys can tell, look at that, 13K, low investment here, haven't done much, and he is just mowing down the opponents. This is one of the few things that I do enjoy about Yusuke. He's definitely not heck of freaking high investment here. We don't got no weapon, we don't got any of that type stuff. We just have the bottom of the barrel type deals, and I really do feel like that with what we have here, it makes it really worth it, at least to get this man. Now, some of you guys may be looking at me like, but that was it in, that was like in freaking, um, what's it called? That was in the EXP thing that, or like for his cards, of course, it's going to be a little easy, right? Oh, wait, our game crashed. Hold on. Um, of course, it's going to be a little easy, right? Well, don't worry. I got more to show you guys in a second. Let me go ahead and restart my game. All right. So now that that little random fest was over here, let's go ahead and try this out in Velvet Room. Now, Velvet Room is one of the few places I was really excited to test out Yusuke because there is specifically one for Ice, as you can see here. Icing Nuke is going to be this one, but of course, as you further go up, we're going to need two teams here. I think it's on 10 or no, it's at 11. Oh, no, it's just in general. But um, eventually, we'll go ahead and use like a whole Ice team, which is going to be uh, necessary to pretty much proc everything. But instead, we're actually going to go ahead and do this here. So let's go ahead and just get any beefy characters. It doesn't really matter who we get for our other two because I don't have the optimal two personas to run with him here. But we're going to once again use Mont. We're going to use, of course, Yuki here. And then we're going to immediately use Puppet. Now, this is one of the few things why I was so excited about Yusuke, right? We get to sit here and we get to just pretty much just proc all of these here and do whatever we freaking want. That is why I was so excited about using this character here. And it made me honestly so happy to see that uh, he's finally coming out. But let's go ahead and use Silver Heart here because we want to get set up. Got everything set up here. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we have our shields here just so the man Yusuke can actually deal his damage. And at this point, he's getting stacked up to be absolutely perfect. 
Now remember our first counter, since we do have, of course, the ice on us, is able to do the ice counter here, meek, dealing some nice damage immediately. And then we can get some amazing type, a, at least all out attack damage here. This is what I kind of like about this. And then look at this, hold on, smack. Look at that, just the regular counter itself did crazy damage here. And it's actually insane. Like this is one of the few things I feel like with Yusuke, he is so worth it. This is, you guys already saw the build. You saw I have the four star weapon. There is absolutely no excuse with this one. Like he's so freaking busted, it's disgusting. So I want him of course to get the ending kill here. So let's just go ahead. Oh, well, never mind. Mont said, no, I want to be the follow up person, but as you can tell, it's so busted, bro. I couldn't even be hyped like this last night because I was so frustrated. But this is actually so fun. Being able to do this and just go back through and just be like, you know what? Hold on. Hold my beer. Mm -hmm. And this is freaking great. This character is a powerhouse and absolutely deserves every last piece of uh, the IP gets at this point. Now, of course, if you guys don't want to summon on him, you don't got to summon on him. He's not a must summon. We do have Mont as, of course, in the uh dps here just i do have to say if you summon on them and you have this just the minimum you guys already see the shield it ain't even much of a shield that he gives himself and he's hitting pretty dang hard you know so if you got if you got the bare minimum like this expect him to deal some crazy damage hold on let's just do a replay real quick hold on wait hold this mm. Mm. there we go look at that 23 <laughs> on one of the crits immediately going in bro this is it's so great oh bro hold on since you want to hit me so bad me <laughs> that was actually a low hit actually too that was like a oh, really low hit but um go ahead use puppet get that nice old big old shield on him big old defense and at this point it, it's just game over it doesn't matter what happens it's game over here so killing them off and then hit this one here. We get the all out attack again. And then of course we gotta we gotta end it off with Yusuke, right? You can't just you can't just let him get this. So you know what? Uh, boom. Crazy damage. Gotta love it. This is probably gonna be my most my favorite character in the game. Like, of course I A6 my Joker, but this is just gonna be my favorite character in the game. I'm not gonna lie to you. I um, this is just way too much fun, but of course, I showed this off a little bit. I'm gonna continue grinding, of course, because I wanna go for more dupes as well as go for his weapon. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do smash that like button with your forehead and consider subscribing if you are new. We do daily P5X videos and we're only gonna keep on going from here. But peace out.